Bob Reynolds, Chris Potter, Chad Lefkowitz, Brown. A 16 note line is a huge part of the jazz language. All the great players out there are playing 16 note lines. But the great thing is, adding 16 note lines to your playing does not have to be difficult. Using scales and arpeggios you already know and just adding and circling and approach notes. You are good to go. Let's dive into this right away. Here are two sample lines over 251 in F. Closely, you'll see that the 16 note lines is basically just an expansion of the 8 note lines. I use the same patterns. This is exactly what I'm going to go into right now. To clearly see what's going on and find out how we can add this to our playing, I'll analyze both lines and find the differences. This means we can get your 8 note line transformed into 16 note line. A short analysis of the 8 note line looks like this. I start by going down the G minor 9 arpeggio. Jumping up an octave, playing two approach notes towards the E, the third of the C7. On the C7 I'm going down the C7 scale, it's pretty basic actually. Adding the standard bebop chromaticism on the dominant, the C, the B and the B flat. Then going up a small Coltrane pattern, 7, 1, 2, 3. Hitting that F major right on that C and going down the scale. On the F major I'm playing an A minor triad structure, repeating that C low, encircling the D. And the line ends on the 13. So how did I expand the 8th note line into 16th note line, getting twice as many notes out of it? And here I have to quote my former teacher John Rocco. Just fill out the bars, man! In the 16th note line I begin with lining out the same G minor 9 arpeggio. I add a little bit more scale. At the beginning I'm also adding an approach note, the B flat top, leading towards that A. And what I mentioned, I also add the G, the scale note. This small line is an amazing tool and a great finger exercise to add to your playing. A small embellishment or a small approach note line which you can use all over the place to add more notes into your lines. This would be the first line I would really recommend you to get into your playing and into your fingers. And this will really help you expand from 8 notes to 16 note lines. I made a complete video on this specific exercise and I really recommend you to check this out. You'll find it at the end of the video. Remember at the end of the lesson transcription which you can get on Patreon, I have added many of these exercises which you can train to get these 16 note lines into your fingers. Check the lesson description on Patreon. The next thing happening is the octave jump. In the 8th note line I do the octave jump but in the 16 note line I do also make the jump but I add a lot of scale into it and a little bit of the arpeggio. After the octave jump I made quite a huge encircling to get to that E, which I also hit in the 8th note line, but I hit that later in the bar on the 16th note line. The first approach to the E begins at the end of the G minor 7 bar. Here's also a little play around you can use as an expansion from 8th note lines to 16th note lines. You can use this line in more ways as an approach note to E. Or if you move it a little bit in the timing, you can use it towards the F. Three, four. Looking at the 16 notes and the 8 notes lines, both examples go towards the E, but in different ways. I've used two ways, a very simple one in the 8th note line and a very complicated one in the 16 note lines. I recommend you to check out both to get the level of 16 notes. Remember at the end of the description I added a lot of examples how you can get these 16 note lines into your playing. The next part of the approach towards the E is a chromatic encircling. Basically I just play an E but extending behind the E the chromatic encircling gets me to the E. 
You can add this figure to all notes you play in all scales. I added this to the little scale exercise here. At the end of the lesson transcription on Patreon you find the full scale exercise. Here in this part in the middle of the C7 I play exactly the same line on the 8th note line and on the 16th note line. The difference is how do I get to the line? And how do I get out of it? To get out of the line I use a Coltrane pattern. The 6532 pattern. I'm not going to go into Coltrane's playing in this video. I did that in other videos and I really recommend you to check these videos out. Check the links in the description or at the end of this video you could go directly to the next video. On the F major chord I run down the F major scale. Nothing spectacular there. But on the arpeggio up I add a chromatic approach note. The approach note is going to the root and this is also something I really think you should go and practice when you are checking out 16 note lines. Chromatic approach notes to all chord notes. This pattern is super useful for filling out more space in your lines when you are adding 16 notes. And the pattern sounds amazing too. Adding this little pattern to the full scale you can for example practice it like this. You see how I add the chromatic approach note to the root and to the seventh and then moving down the same arpeggio again. a lot of patterns of these at the end of the lesson transcription on Patreon. In this video I go into chord note patterns adding chromatic notes to the roots and to the seventh. I really recommend you to check this out. The second last part of the 16 note lick I add another Coltrane pattern the 5-4-3-1 pattern. I add this on the A minor try. And the last four notes of this 16 note lick I basically run down the scale, approach notes and encircle that beautiful D, the 13 of the F major chord. The G, F, E leads towards the D and the low C is encircling the D moving up. Also this pattern can be put into an exercise and standardized and put into your playing right away. And as you probably have seen by now, I have added a lot of extras to the lesson transcription on my Patreon. All the scales, all the approach notes, all the encircling licks and scale exercises, they are there at the end of the lesson transcription on Patreon. I've also added some licks so you can see how I add this into my playing. Find all the material in the weekly Patreon release of the full lesson transcription. I dare you to pick your favorite, Bob Reynolds, Chris Potter or Chad Lefkowitz Brown. Which one? On what recording did you hear the most awesome 16 note line? Let me know in the comments below. Your support on Patreon makes me able to release these videos every week at the bonus material on the lesson transcription. I really recommend you to check out my Patreon and support me and get the bonus material. Any question about this topic, saxophone, playing, anything, add it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Like, subscribe, you know where to find it. The last thing there is to say, play music and have fun.